from Oxford, Mississippi. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. It is a rivalry that dates back to the 1800s. Number 22, Mississippi State. And homestanding Ole Miss meeting in game two of their three-game series here at Swayze Field with the Bulldogs looking to take the series. And lefty Liam Doyle gets the ball for Ole Miss. 6-2 sophomore to Derry, New Hampshire. 2-2 two and two on the year. Is ERA just a tick above seven? We'll be interested to see where Dakota Jordan's name is called. Swing and a miss at the fastball. Doyle liked that first inning. It was a bounce back inning that he needed. And we will see the switch pitching. Gerangelo Sainton, sophomore 5'11", from Pembroke Pines, Florida, native of Curacao. He's 5-1 with a 3-4-5 ERA on the season. Grounder to short. Mershon's got it. This is one of the best fielding teams in all of college baseball. Ole Miss has used three different catchers this season. Lions is the latest, and he swings at the first. That one gets dumped in front of Jordan in right field. Jackson Ross scores, and Ole Miss has runners at first and third in their first lead of the series. And this ball's hit well to left center field. On the run is Isaac. It is gone! Till run, home run for Leje and showers in right field. Into the left field corner, and it is tracked down with a stumbling grab by Bryce Chance. Ole Miss repeated that same scenario the next year. High fly, deep left field. It is into the crowd and gone. Really took down a lawn chair and a solo home run for Isaac is his seventh. Played as it lies, Gilmore. Line drive to left center field. Long run for Groff, and he tumbling. Ends up with the catch, lost his shades. Were you aware that that was going to happen? I, I was aware that they were trying to figure out how they were going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I didn't know how they were going to do it. David Mershon swings at the first and sends a screamer into center field. Kohler will come home, and they stop long behind him. But he is prone to the strikeout. And that one got away. Here comes the tying run and Johnny Long. Really interesting. That one gets all the way to the backstop and another run will score for State. Struck to center field. Back is Groff all the way at the fence and he makes a catch with a lean against the wall. Tagging from third is Larry. And he'll score to extend the state advantage. It's now 5-3 Bulldogs. Don't see that anymore. Into shallow left. Long run for Leger. And he gathers underneath it. Tagging and coming home is O'Brien. And he'll score on a sack fly from David Mershaw. From a collegiate player standpoint, because you got leverage for two more years. And a sharply hit ground ball through the right, uh, left side, excuse me, his second consecutive hit around third and a run scoring single in the end for Dakota Jordan. Campbell Smithwick at the plate now from the left side. And he swings at the first, that'll get at least one run home. Jackson Ross stopped at third. The throw nearly airmailed. And a chopper off the plate. That will get a run home. The throw to first is hurried, but accurate. And an RBI ground out for Trenton Lions. Open up the catalog to page 12. Those are the dirt getter offers. And this is a baseball getter offer and a sinking line drive. And it gets past Dakota Jordan. Motoring the third is Smithwick. They'll bring him home. And we've got a one run game in the eighth inning. Leaves with a runner at second base. Ground ball down the line. Fair ball. Randall around third. He has tied the game on an RBI double from Ethan Groff. The 0-1. Whoa, this one's belted deep into the night. 
and Mississippi State reclaims the lead. That was a 437-foot home run that came off the bat at 112 miles an hour. Line drive to second base, handled by Larry, and now booted, and we are tied. And Johnny Long tattoos this one deep into the left field corner, and it is gone. And Mississippi State goes back in front again. Lost his shin guard coming around first and Long's first home run of the season. Puts State up nine to eight in the 12th. Oh, one to Ross. Line drive, base hit! The Rebels bring golf home and now Fisher, it's a walk-off winner in Oxford.